Now at five, it is the image we've seen many times during the investigation of the murders into Delphi teens Abby Williams and Libby German. It is some of the last video Libby recorded on her cell phone before she and her friend Abby were killed. And today, the jury saw it too. That video and audio from her phone were key elements during day four of testimony in the case against Richard Allen. WRTV's Caitlin Kendall is covering the trial for us in Delphi and joins us now to describe today's developments. Caitlin. Nicole, really what you just spoke about, that video and audio that Liberty German took on her cell phone was probably the most notable thing to come out of Delphi trial day four. And really, we have only seen and heard a couple of seconds of that video. Police did say in part of their investigation that there was more to that video. We heard the entire 45 seconds today as the jury had an opportunity to hear it and see it for themselves and then interpret it from there. The images that we're going to show you right now are of the man who ISP and really a lot of people have dubbed the name bridge guy. It's the person in the background that ISP says of the video that Liberty took on her phone. They kind of blew that image up so that a uh, number of witnesses today could testify as to who bridge guy was. Many people said that they saw that man in the photo on the trails that day. And the most recent testimony was Betsy Blair, who says she saw that man standing on the bridge. Now we did want to take a moment to let you know one person testified about enhancing the audio. An ISP, um, an, an ISP investigator with the digital forensics unit said that he enhanced that audio. We want to give you a chance to take a look or listen rather to that enhanced audio version. It is an audio version that you have likely heard time and time again regarding this case. An ISP digital forensics lieutenant spoke about how his efforts were to try to make that audio better quality so they could release it, as well as taking the images and enhancing those images so that that photo of Bridge Guy, if you will, could be released. Now, we started testimony this morning with a crime scene investigator who testified to taking photos of the crime scene. He talked a lot about a number of evidence evidentiary items that he was responsible for entering into evidence. He spoke a lot about the uh, clothing of girls that were found not only on Abby Williams and Libby German, but also in or Libby German was, of course, naked, as we know. But Abby's clothes that she had on were entered into evidence, as well as clothing that were found in Deer Creek. All of that was entered into evidence today. So the jury got an opportunity to hear the list of evidence and taking to the stand right now is Steve Mullen, who is the Carroll County prosecutor's lead investigator. He's already been to the stand one time. We're going to head back inside and figure out what his testimony is about. But he is the final witness to take to the stand today. We do have someone inside that will let us know what's happening for the moment that we stepped out. We want to get back in there and bring you the very latest on WRTV News at 6. Nicole? Caitlin, before you go back in, did the family have any reaction to that video shown today? At the moment that the video started showing, you could kind of hear what I believe was Liberty German's voice say something along the lines of no path going here, so we have to go down there. The moment that one of the girl's voices could be heard, family. Libby's mom actually healed over, if you will, and began crying. She had to be embraced by family members. So it was a tough moment for family to hear the voices of one of those girls, but it was the first time that we've heard that voice and the first time we have seen or heard that entire 45 seconds. Nicole. All right. Our Caitlin Kendall and Delphi for us again today. Caitlin, thank you.